Okay, so what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to have a cat throw a baseball. So let's first let's go and get ourselves a baseball. It's a little big relative to the cat, so let's shrink that down. There we go. Let's go move them over here. And so first let's set up the initial conditions. Should always do that at the beginning. Uh, the ball should probably start there. There we go. And uh, so we want a trigger for when this ball is thrown. So let's do space. Space is good. We're going to use another kind of block here. It's called uh, create clone. I'm going to just create a clone of myself every time the space bar is pressed. And uh, what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to do when I start as clone, and then I'm going to have it do what it needs to do when it starts as clone. So I could have it, um, let's grab a loop for now. I could have it just move 10 whenever I start as a clone. And then I press space and there he is moving 10. And that looks a little weird. That's not really what I want. I hit uh, green flag, it'll get rid of all the clones. Let's have it go point in direction towards the mouse pointer. So now, now here is the issue. It keeps on making more uh, baseballs. And they're just appearing wherever the baseball was. Let's do this. Whenever it starts as a clone, let's make it go back to the beginning, to the cat. And what I have go to sprite mode. And actually, while we're at it, why don't we do this as well? And not point towards go to the cat. It's starting to show it going out of the mouth, but that's fine. They're not going away. Let's uh, have it at the end here. After it's done doing its thing, they go away. And I don't want the ball just hanging out there. What I want is only to see the ball when I throw it. So when green flag checked, I'm going to make him hide. And then when he starts as a clone, he's going to show. Green flag checked. And he's not th throwing very far. Let's go and increase the amount of repeats to say 30. Seems to be going far enough. Let's actually make it go faster. Let's make it go by 15, say, and 15, increasing the size of each movement and decreasing the amount of loops. It's going faster, although maybe we want 20 loops. There we go. Seems to be going fast and seems to be uh, going where we want. Let's uh, let's put a backdrop in here because a black void is weird. Sure, let's put the cat here and let's do uh, change rotation style left, right. Have him uh, point in the other direction. Oh, seem to have frozen it there. There we go. Ooh, it is not liking me uh, 
broadcasting this at the same time that I'm pressing the button a million times. Just press the button a little bit slower. Oh, still getting all uh, laggy. If you're not broadcasting, this should work fine. All right. So let's have uh, something for the cat to throw the ball at. Let's go with a bat. There we go. Make that bat smaller. There we go. So what happens when we hit the bat? I need to get that to go a little bit longer. Let's repeat that up to 25. There we go. Now we go through the bat. Well, let's say here, when checked, let's have the bat First of all, show, because I'm planning on hiding it later. So we want, want to make sure he shows up. And let's have him go to a random position. So there we go. There he is at a random position. That's the initial conditions. And then let's do inside a forever loop an if statement so that we can do a sensing operation. Touching. The baseball. Let's make it make a sound. All right, apparently that's what a bat can sound like. Uh, let's change the pitch a little bit. All right, that sounds better. And then let's uh, make it hide. And let's make it wait a second. And then let's have it go to a random position and then show up again. Oh, I can't hit him there. Let's go and uh, maybe we need to do 30 here. Now that ball just keeps on going through the bat. We also can go set up a uh, conditional in here as well. And uh, we can do this. Also, when it starts as a clone, I'll just do forever. If touching that delete this clone. So let's uh, it seems to be deleting before the bat registers that it's touching. So let's just have it wait 0.01 seconds. There we go. Then why don't we put a score in here? Because why not? Again, when green flag checked, let's make a variable. Uh, um, bats. And then uh, set on bats to zero. 
and uh, forever if touching baseball change my variable by one. Let's just put a weight in there just in case so we don't accidentally have it uh, go on forever. It's uh, sitting there touching. Oh, let's try changing the correct variable on bats. There we go. Hmm. And then the bat, if he's touching, oh, you know what? Break with it. I'll just put this in here. We've already got this. They are conflicting. Here we go. Oh, lagginess. Okay. There we go. And we could have it have something happen. It reaches to a certain score or something, but let's just uh, turn this in for now. Let's call this one base ball bat and share. Uh, let's go add it to the studio baseball bat. It's a, if you wish to have games that have any sort of uh, shooting or other such things, it's the same basic process.